Why didn't God kill Satan a long, long, long time ago? If Satan is such a baddie, then why is he allowed to continue his reign of terror? Is God strong enough to kill the devil? I'm sure that you would argue that he is. Does God think that the devil is evil and that he needs to be stopped? I'm sure he does, right? We know that God has a plan and a purpose even for Satan. And we also know that Satan will finally be judged. You can read about that in Revelation 20. Satan will pay for his crimes, but until then, God is accomplishing his divine purpose. For example, the apostle Peter says, Jesus was crucified and killed at the hands of lawless men, yet it was according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, Acts 2.23. God brought about the salvation of the world through the actions of wicked men. So why didn't God kill Satan? Because he's got a plan that he's accomplishing. Second, she asks if God is such a baddie, why is he allowed to continue to exist? Well, I think it's the same reason he allows any baddie to exist. Remember, Satan isn't the only bad guy. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23, and we're by nature children of wrath, Ephesians 2.3. So even if God got rid of Satan, that wouldn't stop people from committing evil. If I'm such a baddie, why am I allowed to exist? If God were to remove everyone who does evil at midnight tonight, where would any of us be at 12.01? It's only because of God's love and grace that God gives us another day.